because it's spring it's spring it's spring it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday this month so i'm super super excited for um the month of september hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button and you're an old subscriber if you've been with me from day one welcome back and thank you so much for watching my videos and for all the support so today it's actually um a video about a story that's really really close to my heart you know someone was asking me literally the other day um you know how did i graduate cum laude and i was like sheesh wow like nobody's ever asked me that before and I've never shared the story, um, you know, of how I did it and how I longed throughout my undergraduate career and my postgraduate career and how I longed to graduate cum laude or even summa cum laude. So I'm going to be sharing that in this video of how to graduate cum laude. And since it's also, it's, I'm sure you've had test weeks if you're already in varsity, if you're in high school, I'm sure you've, you've already written some exams, you're still going to write exams. I know my tricks are currently writing and they're still going to write so i'm also going to be sharing some study tips so if you're interested in this video keep watching so as i said in this video i'm going to be sharing how to graduate cum laude so this is my cum laude story and like i said it's actually a story that i've never shared before and i thought wow i should really share this on my channel you know hopefully it will inspire you motivate you and encourage you to work really hard so first of all what is to graduate cum laude i think it's really important to always define things to graduate cum laude you need to have um, achieved distinction so 75 percent to 85 percent and then summa cum laude is 85% to 95% I think if I'm not mistaken and then there's also magna cum laude which is 95 and above so um, yeah so I graduated with my masters I graduated with my master of medical science cum laude and it was actually wow it was it was oh I can't even explain it I've never shared this story before so it's really really um, emotional for me it's something that's really really close to my heart and it's something that I am super proud that I was able to achieve so how can you um, get yourself closer to graduating cum laude or how can you just even be the best that you can possibly be and the best that you can possibly do when you're pursuing your um whether it's your undergraduate, whether you're still in high school, like I said, and you and you want to really, you know, do better, you know, towards the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing some study tips. How can you really be the best that you can be? And that's all that it's about, really. It's all about being the best that you can be and um, achieving the best that you can possibly, possibly achieve. It's really important not to compare yourself to others, not to compare yourself um, to the journey of others. So getting back to my cum laude story. So for as long as I've known what it is to graduate cum laude, I have wanted to graduate cum laude since I was an undergraduate. So in order to graduate cum laude when you're an undergraduate, you need to have achieved this average of 75% throughout your undergraduate career. So that's from first year, second year, and third year. You need to have, or in fourth year, if you're doing a four-year degree, you need to have maintained the 75% aggregate. It is not easy it's not easy at all i wasn't able to do it when i was an undergraduate and excuse me even though i've shared before you know how difficult university is and in first year i was literally getting super low marks like just scraping by especially in the first semester guys university is hard do not ever let anybody tell you otherwise if you and if you currently in first year or even in second year university is difficult it's a huge jump from high school to university it is very very difficult it's very difficult and i really look up to and applaud people that really do well it's not just about being smart some people work hard um you know some people have both so it's really really something that is difficult to achieve and like i said i really really look up to people that have been able to to achieve that so like i said you have to have an uh 75 percent aggregate and then you graduate cum laude and, or if you have above that like i said there's summa cum laude then you graduate um summa cum laude unfortunately for me and my undergraduate degree i knew because of my first year and second year marks um even though in third year i was really achieving great marks and even in second year 
um, I knew for me that my cum laude dream had already passed me um, when I was in even in my second year so however I did you know continue to do my best you know I got distinction for a lot of my modules um, I just unfortunately was unable to graduate cum laude so then I went into my honors and I was like gee honors I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna try and although in my honors year I did achieve a distinction for my thesis also for the research part um, the courses didn't you know match up to that so again i didn't graduate um cum laude or summa cum laude and then when i was doing my masters i didn't i wasn't thinking about it you know i really wasn't until i was in my second year of my masters and i was like gee i really have an opportunity which is actually the last one because now because i'm doing my phd you, people don't graduate with their phd you know cum laude summa cum laude etc um well here yeah, in south africa so I was like, gee, this is really the last chance I have to really try. So I really did. I honed my writing skills. I worked hard in every single piece of writing that I had. My supervisor was so happy and he, he you know, he's always been like, you're such a great writer. You're such a great writer. And, um, you know, I was able to achieve the distinction for my master's. So then, uh, in 2018, I graduated with my master of medical science cum laude. So that is my cum laude store. I've never shared you know how much i've really longed to graduate cum laude or summa cum laude in my whole academic career so there it is and the story i've shared it now so like i said i'm going to be um sharing some study tips um these study tips just a disclaimer you know they may not work for everybody find a kind of groove and a method that works for you but these are some of the things that i found um and some of the methods that actually my friends use that i don't use but i thought i'd add them um because like i said we all have different styles of studying and different styles you know of of absorbing knowledge so the first one which i this is my personal favorite and that is i start reading the material early so like super early from the moment i get it i start reading it so this is this is I, I, I call it kind of called it aimless reading because i'm not really reading like i'm studying it now i'm just reading and i find for that for my brain um i'm able to absorb that so by just reading something even if it's just skimming it i'm like oh okay i remember reading about that you know i remember reading about that concept so for me personally reading my material early and engaging with my material early really really helps me to be able to absorb knowledge another one which i'm not a big fan of because a lot of people end up rewriting the all their notes but other people use it and that's making notes so i've written here making key notes so don't take your notes and rewrite them because that's just a waste of paper it's a waste of ink it's a waste of time um i don't do that i do i did make notes when i was still um doing my exams notes that i would read on the morning of so notes that i've made earlier before because like i said i started engaging with the material early um i make key notes which i read maybe an hour or so before the exam when i say key notes it's like key concepts so don't take you know the whole all your notes and just rewrite them like for me i find that really a waste of time and paper and energy so make key notes my personal favorite one is teaching the teddies um i literally teach my teddy bear his name is cuddles he's been through a lot with me i sit him down and i teach him so i'm like okay cuddles today we are learning about photosynthesis for example and then i teach him about it and i literally treat him like i am teaching a child and that's how i'm able to see am i able to grasp the concept can i explain it to someone else you can teach it to your mom your dad your sister your dog the curtain like you can you can speak to anybody i even make him ask questions <laughs> questions that come from me of course i'm like oh any questions then i ask myself questions you know i really found that method um really really effective in seeing and testing yourself how well you've grasped certain concepts so teaching the teddies i'm for it i love it it's really really one of my favorite it's my top two teaching the teddies another tip is when you're going to write is stay 
calm i'm usually like people that know me know that i'm i'm pretty calm like i i do not panic the only time when i'm excited is when i'm happy you know and when i'm with my friends and stuff like that but i'm generally a calm person so uh, not a lot of things get me riled up so try your best if you are one of those people that panic or that even having other people around you makes you panic stay away from them stay away from them before the exam and just you know walk to the exam room when you're just going to enter because i find actually those groups that are chilling outside the exam venue reciting things and oh did you learn this oh shit i didn't learn this and all of that that is unnecessary stress unnecessary negative energy bad energy that you need and it's it's not going to contribute in you remaining calm so literally what i used to do i used to stay at res i literally used to walk down five minutes before so i know when i walk in even if i've walked i'm walking in when everybody's already walked in i'm walked in i'm going straight to my table i'm sitting down and i'm writing i do not even need to interact with my friends before so that's a really really important thing that you need to do to stay calm and it's also really important to work hard and consistently and this comes with engaging with your material early engage engage with your material early you know make sure you know and you've grasped certain concepts and you'll be able to just you know do the best that you can with what you have done and how you have prepared yourself it's also really important to speak um to your lecturers i've said this in my other videos as well um, and that's another way of engaging your material speak to them about it if you don't understand a certain concept go to them ask them speak to them that's what they are there for they have consultation hours and a lot of lecturers just sit and do their own work in consultation hours because they know that nobody is going to come and consult use the consultation hours honestly make your lecturers work for their salary use them ask them questions even in class ask them questions i promise you at least 10 other people have the same question or even if they don't at the time when you've asked them they're like huh actually you know i learned something from that so ask questions use your lecturers and use them and most 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 important one i cannot emphasize this one enough is to believe in you so believe in yourself believe in your abilities believe that you actually can do it believe that you can graduate cum laude believe that you can graduate summa cum laude believe in yourself and your capabilities that is the most 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 important one but of course there's believing in yourself and then not doing anything to kind of equip yourself for that you know so you need to prepare yourself as well preparedness is really really important prepare yourself attend lectures lectures is actually a really really important part of preparedness and engaging in your material you attend lectures as much as you cannot attend lectures because there are some institutions which are not contact learning when you do the contact learning your lecturers actually say okay this is important okay this is not important okay this is something that is going to come up in your exams you know you already are a step of a step ahead in the preparedness part because they've already prepared you they've cut down maybe the, the material that you need to learn whereas if you're just receiving the material in bulk you're just going to learn it all because you don't know what's important and what's not so it's really really important to attend lectures be prepared and believe in yourself so that yeah that brings me to the end of my video um I'm really, really happy that I shared that story and I'm really glad that the person, you know, that I spoke to was like, hey, you know, why don't you share that? And, and how did you graduate cum laude? So now you guys know and it's something that I've really, really been wanting for a long, long time. And, and I was so, so proud. My parents were so, so proud. And, you know, my parents actually, um, you know, learned of this cum laude thing when I graduated with my previous degrees and my sister as well. But they're like, hey, why do you like some people's names get called with cum laude? or summa cum laude very very few and then i had to explain that to them and i'm like and i even told them i was like one day they're going to say zagitin kize cum laude and they did so yeah that brings me to the end of my story i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this video 
and of course it's spring it's spring it's spring it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday this month so i'm super super excited for um the month of september i'm going to be bringing you guys a birthday vlog i'm going to be um shooting some content i know in august i promised that i'd have um, a lot of guests but because of coronavirus and the busyness of them you know i had to push that back so I'm hoping to upload those videos also this month and of course my birthday which I'm really 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 excited about <laughs> I'm such a birthday person if you know me I am a birthday person so yeah don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload a new video and I will see you guys on the next video